What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It is November 3rd, 2017, and that means it is week number 8 of Xur. And Xur is actually located on the EDZ by the Winding Co. So we're going to mark him, and then we are going to head there right now. Let's go see what he has in his Quickie Mart this week. Xur! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have Graviton Lance, which is a Void Pulse Rifle. And Treasure Perk on this is Black Hole, which, third shot of a burst, rips a hole through space-time. Ooh. Doing high damage and recoil with no fall-off. Next, we have Hammer Forge Rifling, Accurized Rounds, Cosmetology, as well as Fitted Stock. Now, this is definitely a good exotic for PvE, not so much for PvP, just for the simple fact of the effect of Black Hole. Because when you rip that hole through space-time, you actually do damage um, to any nearby uh, enemies. So this would be a lot better in PvE because ads kind of always come around each other. So definitely go ahead and grab this. But for PvP, not really so good. So I probably would rate this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE. But definitely a tier 3 in PvP, if not a tier 3.5. If you guys don't know what my tier scale is, I will put it in the description below. That way you guys can check that out. So, next exotic we'll be going over is the Young Ahamkara Spine. It's like a little blast from the past, from Destiny 1. Tragic perk on this is Wish Dragon Teeth, which increases trip mine grenade duration and marks enemies damaged by the blast. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Plasteel Reinforcement Mod. This also comes with Energy Counterbalance Mod, which is pretty decent. Now, for this exotic, I definitely would get this if I were you guys. Anytime you can increase the duration of a grenade, it is amazing. Trip Mine Grenades, especially um, when I use my Titan. I'm always on Striker, and I always, always have di double Lightning Grenades, because those things are amazing. and even though this is not lightning grenades, the trip mine grenade is just like that one step down. So I definitely would get this if I were you guys. And it, this thing's wow. So this thing is going to get a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. So go ahead and pick that up. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Mask of the Quiet one for the Titan class with a little bit of mobility and twice as much resilience. And trying to perk on this is uh, Dreaded Visa uh, Visage which grants melee grenade and class ability energy when damaged. Void ability kills grant health regeneration. Next, we have mobility enhancement mod as well as restorative mod, and this comes with an impact absorption mod as well. Mod as well. <laughs> um, I definitely would say this is one of the better exotics uh, out there. And it says void ability kills, so you're definitely going to have to be on your Captain America class um, in order to get the, the second effect of this. But, uh, it's, it seems like a pretty good exotic so far. I haven't tried it out myself yet, but I am going to go ahead and buy one for my Titan. Um, but I'm going to leave, uh, this pretty open for the usage. I haven't tried it out, so I don't want to give you guys a bad review on it. Um... But I do know that the Doomfang Pauldron is amazing for your Titans. And this just might be at least in your top five exotics for the Titan. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And like I said, when I actually get a chance to use this, I, then I will let you guys know. Next exotic we have is the Nezarek Sin for the Warlock class. And this has a little bit of mobility, resilience, and recovery. And Tragic Perk on this is Abysmal Extractors, which... Void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate, which that means all ability energy recharge rate. And then we have mobility enhancement mod as well as restorative mod, and this comes with an energy bracket mod. Now, this exotic is definitely a good exotic. It is definitely part of the top tier exotic for the Warlock. Personally, I would like to use the... Um, Karnstein's armlets before I use the Nezarek Sin, but the Nezarek Sin 
would probably be my second choice. Um, PVE, and, uh, PVE and PVP, it, it does you know what it needs to do. So in that regards, I'm pretty much going to give this a tier two in PVE as well as PVP because it's still a good exotic, you know. And uh, if you guys don't have it, definitely go ahead and grab it. And that, fellow guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Feedback is always appreciated. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.